Jeff, as you mentioned last night how Odor consistently engaged, consistently you know, comes to play every night. <coughs> the last two games, is he possible more engaged? Is, is my eyes deceiving me, or is there, it seems like there's been an extra gear he's shown out there? I don't know that he's, uh, and it's a fair question. I don't know if he's more engaged. Uh, just you know, the focus is at a premium right now. Um, you know, I, I just think that the approach at the plate really uh, a little little calmer in a sense that he's searching for for pitches to hit. And, I mean, uh, you know, still gonna gonna be aggressive, but really uh, looking to to drive the ball and, uh, just. Putting good swings on a baseball defensively. Uh, look, we challenged him about a week ago. He's been out early with uh, with Tony, and they've been doing a little extra work defensively just to reengage the, the hands and the feet, get those together. So that part of it, I feel that is a you know it's a tick better. So uh, really, it's you know some of the misplays that you know really just get reengaged in, on the defensive side and make that a, a priority. Jeff, this is a two-part question. How does it feel good to have somebody besides um, Cole, a uh, starter, get a win? And how big a deal is it to finish the series strong and to finish on a high note these next two games? And well, some makes on this home trip. Yeah, I, I think that in this time of year, uh, really, the winning baseball games is is the premium. Uh, look, this is the end of July, getting ready to move into to August, where I mean they're. They're at a premium. Not not to say they weren't in April, May, and in, in June, but reality is that we uh, this month has not been our best month. So, finishing on a on a strong mo note, uh, winning baseball games, win you know, have an opportunity to to play well tomorrow uh, and Sunday is is a priority. Uh, the first part of that of of yeah, any time that those starters go out there and give us an opportunity to. To win baseball games, it's it's crucial right now, and uh, to have Griff go out there and do what he did tonight was was big for us, especially to back it up after after Cole's outing last night. Was it maybe a, a step forward for him as he, you know, almost got through s to the sixth, and <coughs> really and, until he ran out of gas there it was, it was pretty strong. Yeah, I, I think tonight probably the the best that he's used the up to down game for himself uh, this year. Uh, really the high fastball, low fastball, the cutter, uh, you know, not uh, really focusing on, on one location at, at the plate against a ball club that you know, swings a bat well. These guys don't they don't they don't give up very much at, at the plate and don't only have the the one walk. I think huge. It was at, what 18 of of 22 first pitch strikes, so he was he was getting ahead of hitters, uh, putting them on the defense and. And uh, I think the cutter, the breaking ball, uh, really played well for him tonight because he was he was early early strikes. Uh, I, I think really he was only only behind four hitters, and three of those were outs, and one of them was a walk. Banny, early in the game, um, Odor threw out Kendrys Morales from like right <laughs> center field. Is that the farthest throw you've seen by a second baseman to get somebody out? Uh, I I can't I couldn't I couldn't tell you that one. That was it was a great play by. By Rugi, uh, I, I think more than anything else, the internal clock for for Rugi, of knowing who was who was at the plate, who was running, uh, to be able to range that far and, and really turn because he had to throw the ball before Mitch he had even gotten to the bag and turned. So I think it was two parts to that: the the, the ability for Rugi to get to the ball, turn and throw, and for Mitch to pick it up, move his feet. It was a tremendous job by Mitch to stay on the bag. You said this is the end of July. I didn't realize what part of the calendar it was. Um, <laughs> Profar Pro Pro kind of went through a little bit of a struggle there, but you kind of you kind of stayed with him and mm -hmm. kept him up at the top of the lineup. And you're kind of being rewarded for it. What what is how has he kind of rebounded lately? Yeah, it's looked it, look the swings have gotten sharper. Uh, uh, not looking to uh, to me, they're not as big. Uh, even though he hit the home run tonight, it, uh, look that was. That was a, a product, in my opinion, of trying to stay through the middle of the field, and he clicked the ball out out front that he was able to drive out of the ballpark. But the other the other bats really staying calm. The early on in in some of that stretch there, Tr looked like the, the stride got a little long, which created a little length in the swing, and trying to look like trying to do a little too much. And so he's kind of reengaged himself in a sense of where he can. Uh, Strides not not as long, getting the foot down and able to get the barrel out front. The other, the other thing, Nomar is kind of the same way. 
Yeah, the same 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 thing with 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 uh, Maz. It, it's, you know, these guys get to a point to where <clears throat> look, they're into the the stress and and of playing Major League Baseball, and they've had success, and all of a sudden you, you get get nicked up a little bit, and you you try to create and do too much, and then you get to a point where you just kind of settle down and. Let that lower half, they stay on their legs better and they're able to get the barrel to the baseball. That's the thing is that, you know, when, you know, not that they're not tired by any stretch, but what ha- they're trying to do a little too much. They haven't gotten a, some hits. They're not on, a, on the same roll. And, and so it just really you see them trying to create with their body too much and they've, they've settled down and they stay on their legs, just let that, the, their hands in the barrel work. Profar and some of the guys have done a really good job of blocking out the trade rumors with their names in it. Have you talked to them at all about that, or how, how do they go out there and do that? No, I don't. I don't bring that up to them. Listen, this is. I, I think when you start talking about those things with players, you, you create an environment. I'm not real sure they pay attention to that. I, I, not to, you know, I, I know you guys feel like that they're watching everything you guys say and talk about and turn the TV on. Look, they're watching their hits and their homers and and how they how, how they feel the baseball and the highlights. I, I don't think they get too engaged with any of that talk. So I'm not going to bring it up to them unless they, they I, I see that I need to.